Yeah, we are here in Seattle's East Lake neighborhood, which as you know, Joyce and Mark has been a hub for biotech in our region. And there is an organization here in the building behind me that for the last quarter century has been working on vaccines and therapies and is now ready to join the fight against COVID-19. Absolutely. Sitting outside in the Seattle sun, Dr. Corey Casper can sit six feet away and still see more optimism than others. We're seeing already the effects of some of the social distancing. Casper is the CEO of the nonprofit Infectious Disease Research Institute and a clinical professor of global health at the UW. What makes this virus in your mind different than others that we've seen in the past? This virus is one that we've never seen before. Casper's Research Institute says it has developed a potential treatment for coronavirus patients, calling on his time working at Fred Hutch and thanks to funding from a New Jersey-based private therapeutics company. We're about to start a clinical trial um, for a new immunotherapy, essentially uh, a way of giving patients the immune cells that we think are critical in fighting this infection. The Institute's trial involves a use of targeted therapy, once reserved for leukemia and myeloma patients, and could roll out in weeks, he says, and perhaps available, pending government approval, in a year. It is different than the potential vaccines in development down the street. Now that will prevent people from getting an infection. It won't do anything for the people who have already been infected. And while those solutions may still be months away, Casper says he will rely on facts over fear. We have to follow good statistics to find a solution to this public crisis. And this nonprofit story is kind of a microcosm in the bigger picture about funding for these kind of health challenges. Just last year, his organization went through a downsizing and funding before going through the reorganization to focus more on this latest battle and this therapy that they'd like to get out in a clinical trial. That's the story for now. Here in Seattle's East Lake neighborhood, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.